guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts my Christmas at Hogwarts reading vlog, so stay tuned. So it is currently Monday, December 17th, which means it is the beginning of the magical readathon Christmas at Hogwarts magic feast or magical feast, something like that. And I have all my challenges here. And I have had a fairly successful day as far as reading goes. Xander and I continued and finished Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We had, I think, 98 pages left of this and we finished this today. And also today I finished Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I think I had 74 pages left of this. So I finished my coursework with these so yay and then I moved on to the snowball fight with the Weasley twins and I read volume three of Giant Days which is supposed to be a book that I think will be humorous and I thought this one was going to be humorous but it actually wasn't that funny like, I mean, it's still really good, and I very much enjoyed it, but it wasn't as funny as some of the other ones have been, because there's, like, fights and breakups, and it's kind of a, a little more real-life kind of drama, but I still really enjoyed it. I thought it would be funny, and I guess there are some parts that are funny, but it wasn't really a funny book, but it still counted. I still count it. <laughs> And that is what I read today, so I'm happy. I've already finished three books and two challenges, so off to a very good start. And tomorrow, I think, I'm going to use my time turner and go help Hagrid decorate the trees, and I'll do, I'll start a book with golden detail, which is all is calm, all is bright, because it has like these little gold lights. And also visit three broomsticks for more pixie wine and read something that should only take me a day slash evening to read. And I will be reading a Space Battle Lunchtime Volume 1, Lights, Camera, Snackchen. So this is what I plan on tackling tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. And I think I got some editing to do tomorrow posting a fun tag video tomorrow with a little giveaway. It's not a bookish giveaway. It's a different kind of giveaway. I'll link that up here, whichever corner that goes to. And you can go and check out that fun tag video I did. And I'm going to go for now because it's late and I need to get to bed. And I will just talk to you tomorrow. So it is Tuesday, December 18th. And... Once again, I am tired. <laughs> it seems like I, I only get an opportunity to check in when it's right before I'm going to bed. But I'm busy with a whole bunch of other stuff the rest of the day because we have Xander school and, and I've got all kinds of other stuff to do around the house and editing and filming. Well, I'm not filming t today, but I had editing to do today. But... I did get some reading done. Not a huge amount. I didn't finish anything today. I started The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, and I'm currently on page 82 of this, and I'm listening to the audiobook, and this is requiring a lot of focus listening to the audiobook because there are so many different perspectives it's like each chapter is a different person's perspective. So we have Avery, Lita, Rylan, Watt, Eris. I think those are all of the perspectives that we have so far. I don't know if any more will get added on, but I don't always notice when it changes from one perspective to another. And so I'll be listening and I'll miss him saying the the name of the chapter, which is just the name of the person that the perspective is. And they'll get a few lines in before I realize that they're not talking about the same person they were talking about before. And yeah, it requires a lot of attention on this audiobook. So 
I can't really do a whole lot while I listen to this. But I am enjoying it so far. I don't really know too much about it. I'm 82 pages in and I'm really just kind of learning, I guess, each of these characters' backstory. Like, kind of what happened to them prior to now. And they all live in this tower at different levels. Avery is at the very top. Then we have like Eris, who's like on level 985. And then you have others that are like really low down. And I don't know, it's, it's interesting, but I'm not entirely sure what it's about at this point, but it is interesting. It did start out with a girl who I believe was Avery is falling to her death. That's how the book starts. And it is set a hundred years in the future. It's set in November 2118. Also today I've been reading All Is Calm, All Is Bright by Colleen Coble or Co Cobble? I don't know. And I'm on page 62 of this. I've kind of been picking this up and physically reading it here and there. And then when I went out today, was listening to this. And that's it really, as far as my reading goes. I'm kind of a little <laughs> all over the place today. So sorry if this clip is kind of bleh. <laughs> but tomorrow I have a massage to go to. And then I need to come home and shower and get all done up and do some filming because I need to get a few more things filmed before I go out of town. Because on Friday I'm going down to Mobile, Alabama to visit with my mother and my sisters and it's going to be fun and I will bring you along. I don't know how much filming of everybody I'm going to do because I don't know if they're going to want to be on YouTube or not. <laughs> my mom probably will because she enjoyed it. But I don't know about my sisters and everything. We'll see. Alright, well, I will talk to you tomorrow. So, it is nearly 10 o'clock on Wednesday, December 19th. And I have some filming to do here in just a little while. So, I don't plan on reading really any more tonight. So, I thought I'd go ahead and do my check-in now before I go and do my filming. But, I've been continuing listening to The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. And I'm currently on page 166 of this. I'm still enjoying the story, but I don't really know what the story exactly is. I think it's just these five different teenagers and how their lives kind of are interacting with each other. And I mean, it's, it's a good story, but I haven't really found a plot exactly to it. But it's still interesting. So this book is actually uh, me kind of skipping to another part and kind of filling in the gaps in between. But this is my fly around snowy Hogwarts grounds, read a book with a building on the cover, which is this one right down here. And I've actually been highlighting the ones that I've completed. So I finished my coursework with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Lord of Shadows. And then I had a snowball fight with the Weasley twins by reading Giant Days Volume 3, and I visited Three Broomsticks for Mold Pixie Wine, which was to read a book that should only take you a day slash evening. I did that today, and I read Space Battle Lunchtime Volume 1, Likes Camera Snaction. This took me literally about 30 minutes to read. It was cute. It's, I don't know, I think I'd probably give it like a 3.75. It's very cute. It's a intergalactic cooking show competition. And yeah, it's cute. I'm looking forward to reading the second one because I have it as well. I think maybe there's only two. Um, I like that in the back there was actually a thing that kind of told the backstory of each of the chefs that are competing, which is kind of cool. There's also this alien chick called Chef Neptunia 
and she has I think the hots for our main character here which is Peony from Earth. I enjoyed it. Next I went and did the exchange presents at the common room read a book featuring or about friendship so for that I read Giant Days Volume 4 and I very much enjoyed this. It was um, dealing with breakups and they've started their second year of college and they're trying to find a place together and there is also towards the end a little bit of a girl-girl relationship as well and yeah this is very cute. I'm very much enjoying the Giant Days graphic novels. I haven't read any more of All Is Calm, All Is Bright um, today, I don't think, but very much enjoying this. The, so it's two novellas, and All in Com All Is Calm is what I'm reading right now, and it's kind of like a little bit of a thriller kind of thing where this girl's on the run, she's been accused of knowing something about somebody's murder, and she's kind of gone into hiding, and there's also this horse involved and she's trying to protect the horse and it's definitely not kind of what I was expecting going into it but I'm enjoying it. So actually when I finish this I will have a complete path to the attend the Christmas feast which I'm going to watch Goblet of Fire probably sometime tomorrow with Sander. I don't know. We may have to take it with us when we go to Mobile but yeah I'll have actually completed an entire path when I finish this and I'm over a third of the way done and then I'll use my time turner because I want to continue more of the path and that's where this one falls into place and I also have Slayer and P.S. I Still Love You so still got lots of reading that I can do during this time and heck I might even finish more than that I don't know but I also have some packages that I wanted to unbox and that have kind of just been sitting aside for now. And oh, yay! This is my Queen of Air and Darkness box from Good Choice Reading. I believe that's what it's called. And I'm so freaking excited. Let's open her up. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Ooh, peanuts. All right. Okay, so the first thing in here is a little, like, really soft denim kind of pouch, and it says, You belong where you're loved. Hashtag the dark artifices. And it's a little zipper pouch, and there's goodies inside. Oh, I like goodies. Okay, so we have. A magnetic bookmark and I believe this must be the Queen of Air and Darkness. A little baggy here. It's a lanyard and it says the choices we make make us. Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. Cool. Okay then there is a little charm. I don't know if it goes on the lanyard or something else and it's a rune. I don't know what it is a rune of, but this is by Hebel Design, H-E-B-E-L Design dot com. It looks like that. And then we have this big vinyl sticker here. And I think this is by Novel Grounds. And they have a, an Etsy shop. And I think that's everything that's in the pouch. Yeah. And then the book. Oh my gosh, this is a beast of a book. Holy cow, this is a big book. Oh, how pretty. Okay, let's just take the dust jacket off for a second. And yes, it just looks like that. But look inside. Ah! Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Oh, I love it. And the coolest part, it came personalized. It says for Melanie and then she signed it. Ah! How awesome. Okay, how long is this freaking book? Because it is ginormous. Okay, so the actual story is 880 pages, but then there is a bonus story featuring Clary and Jace called A Love That Never Tires. And that's a few pages long. Very, 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 very cool. I'm so excited to have this. It'll probably be January before I read it though. Okay, and then the other box that I have to unbox for you is my Once Upon a Book Club Christmas box. And this isn't their advent calendar one because that I'm actually having a separate video. I've already filmed it and I'm not sure if that video, or actually videos, is going to go up before this vlog or not. But if it's already up, then I'll put the link up here for you. But this is not part of their subscription box. This is actually a separate box that you can get. And it's a Christmas box. It's a... If you've heard me talk about a book called Every Time the Bell Tolls or something like that. Which is like my favorite Christmas read because it's a retelling of It's a Wonderful Life. It came in last year's Christmas box. And I absolutely adored it. So... Let's see what this month's Christmas box is like. So we have a print. It says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And they have a holiday book club chat, which will be a Sunday, January 6th. I don't know if I'll have this read before that or not, just because I'm going out of town and I don't know if I want to take this with me for that. I might, I don't know. I might read this as a backup if I finish all of my other stuff. Okay, so we have this gift, which is squishy, weird, and this is for page 352. If you don't know, the way Once Upon a Book Club works is you get a book, and throughout the book you'll find post-it notes that say open your gift for page whatever, and then you find the gift that says page whatever on it. And then you open it and it's something that goes along with the story. And I absolutely love these boxes because it just really brings the story to life. It's very interactive and it's just great. Okay, so this one says page 402 and it actually says for Adam from Hannah. This one's got a cute little stuffed gingerbread man hanging from him. Oh, so cute. And this is page 167. And then we have page 370. And the book whoops, is The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan. And this says, In the snowy highlands of Scotland, Suzanne McBride is dreaming of the perfect cozy Christmas. Her three adopted daughters are coming home for the holidays, and she can't wait to see them. But tensions are running high. Workaholic Hannah knows she can't avoid spending the holidays with her family two years in a row. But it's not the weight of their expectations that's panicking her. It's the life-changing secret she's hiding. Stay-at-home mom Beth is having a personal crisis. All she wants for Christmas is time to decide if she's ready to return to work, seeing everyone was supposed to help her stress levels, not increase them. Posey isn't sure she's living her best life, but with her parents depending on her, making a change seems risky. But not as risky as falling for gorgeous new neighbor, Luke. As Suzanne dreams of the perfect McBride Christmas unravel, she must rely on the magic of the season to bring her daughters together. But will this new togetherness teach the sisters that their close-knit bond is strong enough to withstand anything, including a family Christmas? Well, that sounds cute. Here's what the little post-it notes look like. So yeah, I might take this along with me, just in case I finish my other stuff. Alright, well that's all for my update tonight, and I will just check in with you tomorrow. So it is currently December 20th, and it's really late, and 
I still don't have myself packed and I'm kind of freaking out because I'm supposed to leave in the morning. Ah, so I just wanted to do a really, really quick check in with you on my reading and let you know how that's going. And then I got to pack everything up or I got to go to sleep and then I got to get up early and pack everything up. Everything. <laughs> okay. So today I have been working on the fly around snowy Hogwarts grounds, which is the building on the cover. And for that, I'm reading the thousandth floor. I took the jacket off because I'm going to be taking the book with me. But I'm currently on page 246 of this, so a little over halfway. Also, today I finished helping Hagrid decorate the trees, so I read the book with a golden detail. And that was All Is Calm, All Is Bright, Two Christmas Novellas by Colleen Coble. And I would give All Is Calm 4.5 stars and All Is Bright 4 stars. This was really, really good, and it was nothing like I was expecting. I was kind of thinking, you know, warm, mushy, Christmassy stories. And I mean, there was a little bit of that aspect in there, but really, they were both more of like murder mystery kind of things, and a little bit of a thriller. And I was surprised by them, and I really, 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 really enjoyed it. So overall, I would give this a 4.25. And now I'm gathering up all of my stuff that I need to take along with me, what books I'm bringing. Uh, I'm going to end up bringing way too many books, but it's okay. Better to have too many books than not enough, I guess. Alright. I may not check in with you tomorrow just because I'll be driving and stuff. So, I don't know. I might at the end of the night. I don't know. I have to make sure I bring my camera and all my batteries because otherwise, well, we'll have a problem. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. So, I can't remember if the last time I checked in with you was on Thursday the 20th or Friday the 21st, right before I left town and was headed here to Mobile to my mother's house. But it is currently a Sunday the 23rd. So, on Friday, on my way down here, I continued listening to The Thousandth Floor, and I really enjoyed it. it. I think I would give this four stars for now. That is subject to change when I read the sequel, but for now, I think I would give this four stars. And really, to me, this was very much like, it's like a soap opera for teenagers. That's kind of the feeling that I got from it. It wasn't... I don't know, the, the plot just kind of followed these five teenagers, all at different um, social parts of life. And, you know, some had money, some were on higher floors, some had money and lost it, some all didn't have money to begin with. But kind of how their lives just all intertwined together, and some of them did actually intertwine with each other and others they didn't interact and it really was like a soap opera and it starts out with somebody falling to their death and that's also where it ends pretty much is the funeral of that person and I'm not gonna say you know anything about that too much because I don't want to spoil anything but I'm pretty sure the sequel is going to be somebody trying to uncover what actually happened and I did enjoy it I'm absolutely going to read the sequel but yes I finished this and that completed my fly around snowy Hogwarts grounds so that completed this challenge here and then I was able to go ahead and attend the Christmas feast so I got to watch Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire which I needed to do also for my Potter Watch live show that we did over on Zoe's channel yesterday. That was a lot of fun. If you haven't seen it, you should go over to her channel and check that out. We had a great time. And we actually stuck to the book for the most part. It was great. And also on Friday, while I was driving down, when I finished... The Thousandth Floor, I started listening to P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, 
and I got to at that point page 154 so which is about right here and then today I've listened to just a little bit more and I'm currently on page 183 of this I just kind of watched it while I was straightening my hair earlier and uh I am freaking loving this series and I can't wait to watch the movies. Yesterday, I decided to start reading Slayer by Kirsten White and because there was a lot of family stuff going on yesterday and I had the Potter Watch live show, I didn't do a huge amount of actual reading because there's just so much going on. So I only got like 20 pages read yesterday and the same kind of thing's been going on today because today we did a, a big Christmas dinner and my sister and her husband and their kids were all over here and we did our big Christmas meal for lunchtime and then after lunch we spent hours playing cards and board games and that kind of stuff until it was time to eat dinner <laughs> and then we had leftover from lunch leftovers like the big Christmas meal and then when that was over we went back to playing and well we pretty much played until everybody left or went to bed <laughs> so the only people up right now is my mom and I even the kids have all tuckered out and gone to sleep so yeah I read just a little bit more of this today I'm currently on page 48 I don't know if I'm going to finish this and this before the Harry Potter magical readathon Christmas at Hogwarts readathon is over but even if I don't finish that I have completed an entire path here as well as at least one extra so Slayer is my sneak into the kitchen to gift Dobby odd socks which is where read a book with an item of clothing on the cover. And P.S. I Still Love You is put on your Molly Weasley's knitted sweater. Read a book with present parents or a focus on family. So that's just my extra path that I was working on. If I don't get it complete, not a big deal. I am quite happy with what I've managed to complete. Because just to recap... Finishing my coursework, I finished reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and I finished reading Lord of Shadows. For my Had a Snowball Fight with the Weasley Twins, I read Giant Days, Volume 3, graphic novel. Book with Golden Detail for helping Hagrid decorate the trees, I read All is Calm, All is Bright by Colleen Coble. Visit Three Broomsticks for Mold Pixie Wine, which was read a read that should only take you a day slash evening, I read... Space Battle Lunchtime, Lights, Camera, Snaction, which was Volume 1, another graphic novel. Exchange Presents in Your Common Room, read a book featuring or about friendship. That was Giant Days Volume 4, which was another graphic novel. Fly Around Snowy Hogwarts Ground, which was read a book with a building on the cover, which was The Thousandth Floor. So I have completed quite a lot, and I also watched the Harry Potter movie. So... These are totally just bonuses, and I am going to try. I plan on sitting and reading this for a little bit tonight before I go to sleep. Don't know how much time that's actually going to be, but my goal is by the end of the day tomorrow to get to page 300. Don't know if that's actually going to happen, but I'm going to try. We'll see. And this I'm listening to, so I don't... Think it'll be that much of a problem. I think there's uh, three hours approximately left of this, which I'm going to be doing some more driving on the 26th, which is the last day. So I think between, yeah, I could totally get this finished by the end of the day on the 26th. Not a problem. So I am, I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of like family time vlogging just because I don't know if everybody's going to want to be on camera. But we'll see. I haven't asked them about it really. My mom 
and Xander both made an appearance in the Potter Watch live show. My mom thought it was it was very interesting and was very fun to watch. And she thought that Zoe and Claris were both very interesting people to listen to. So, all right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go for now and get a little bit of reading done, and I will talk to you later. So it is December 24th, Christmas Eve, and um, I'm being really quiet because everybody has gone to bed and I don't want to disturb anybody. It's uh, only like almost 1030, but everybody wants to get up early for Christmassy stuff, so I plan on staying up for a little while and continuing to read my book. And I am enjoying it very much. I'm currently on page 110 of this. So I got a little bit more read. Last night I read only like three pages before I passed out because I was so tired. But hopefully I'll get a bit more read tonight. I was really wanting to be like the page 300 by tonight, but I don't see that happening. Who knows? I won't have as many distractions at this point because everybody's gone to bed so maybe I'll get some done but I haven't really read any more of or listened to any more of P.S. I Still Love You and really that's where I'm at we sat around the house and played dominoes and just kind of hung out with family my sister came over with her family and that was fun and yeah tomorrow's Christmas so we're just going to do our little Christmassy stuff, and that's about it. Probably do some reading. My sister and her family may come back over tomorrow. Then tomorrow night, my other sister with her kids will be arriving, like, late at night. And it'll also be an early night for Becca because she has to drive back to Tennessee because she has to work on the 26th. So, going to be a lot of stuff going on, and... It's going to be a lot of fun, and that's really it. I don't guess I have anything else to say, so I will just talk to you tomorrow, maybe, because it is Christmas. If I don't, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. So this is Future Editing Me, and I was sent this item for review before Christmas, and I forgot to do my review during this, so I wanted to add it as a second little thing. Just kind of stick it in the middle. But I was sent this Fit First Double XL Ultra Wide Micro Plush Heating Pad, and I've had the opportunity to try this thing out, and it is freaking amazing. Okay, for one, it's huge, and it has like a little thing here that tells you uh, what setting. There's like four different settings, and it also does an auto off. But it gets nice and warm, and it's also really, really soft. And yeah, it covers my entire back and then some. And it's amazing. And um, I'll put the link. It's something you can just get off of Amazon. I forget how much it is. I want to say around $20. I, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe less. I don't know. Anyway, I'll have the link for that down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Okay, back to the reading vlog. All right, Xander's opening his gift from Becca. What did she get you? A bunch of pictures. Beats. <laughs> what did she get? Oh, thank you. Now I actually have headphones because I don't have to steal that. It's every 24 seconds. And they're cool too. Check them out. Awesome. So it is currently Thursday, December 27th, which means last night the Hogwarts at Christmas readathon ended and I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't check in on the 25th because, well, doing family stuff. But I finished reading P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Hahn. I give this five stars. I loved it. I cannot wait to read the next one such a cute series. I also cannot wait to watch the movie for the first one and this one when it comes out. As far as Slayer goes, 
I managed to get a little over halfway. I'm on page 226 of this. So I didn't finish it, but as far as my little map thing here goes, I did get all of these, this one, these two, and then of course the Christmas feast. This one is Slayer, which I didn't quite complete, but you know what? My path still is complete multiple ways. So I did the first path and then I got a couple extra books read in addition to, so not bad. It's a little crazy here right now. <laughs> Kids are running around playing all over the place. But I had such a great time doing this readathon. I cannot wait to do next year's set of magical readathons. And I want to thank you, G, for hosting this readathon. It was a lot of fun. And well, now I get to just continue my reading of Slayer. I cannot wait. It's so good. But I don't know, it's, it's different from what I expected, but I am loving it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.